One of Web 2.0's technological advancement is the implementation of system-initiated personalization on social media platforms. It results in users being in an individualized and closed-minded bubble as their perception of the news and other content is increasingly narrow. Concern is exhibited as this algorithm tailors content shown to the user. System-initiated personalization is theorized by Tanya Kant as an academic theory that dictates what the user gets to see, whilst personalizing that user's platform based on algorithms that find and emphasize content similar to the user's history. Many issues arise from this theory as it revolves around the media and what content users are limited to. It suppresses content and news that may be important to the user, but will never be discovered due to the algorithm's belief of what the user wants to see. This theory therefore endangers society's collective understanding and perception of the world, and at the same time, diminishing the society's shared collective understanding. It suppresses content and news that may be important to the user, but will never be discovered due to the algorithm's belief of what the user wants to see. This theory therefore endangers society's collective understanding and perception of the world, and at the same time, diminishing the society's shared collective understanding. YouTube's platform will be analyzed to illustrate this algorithm. Firstly, the recommended section shows videos that the algorithm believes I want to see. It is showing content similar to my recent and past viewings. When the word barber is searched on someone else's account, various different hairstyling videos are presented. However, when I search the word barber, apart from the first two videos, the same content I previously consumed is regurgitated and showcased extensively. This personal case study depicts the problems the algorithm generates. In the recommended section, all the videos are similar to the ones previously viewed, as the algorithm omits dissimilar ones. The juxtaposition of both search results when Baba is searched showcases the algorithm being used to personalize the content that is displayed. This is problematic as it provides an increasingly narrow selection of content to be consumed. The Pretermitted videos become content that users will miss out on. Consumer choice is neglected as users are not aware of this algorithm. Therefore, they are not responsible for the content they choose. The narrow selection of content results in personalized and alienated bubble as users are increasingly disconnected from a broader sense of community. Users also become less politically, culturally, and socially aware as the content is catered to them, as the algorithm decides what the content Users also become less politically, culturally, and socially aware as the content is catered to them, as the algorithm decides what content would interest the user. This new technology found in Web 2.0 is proven to be problematic as it disconnects individuals from a larger community, resulting in a closed-off, individualized media bubble.